Hello everybody at the Neutral Land, my name is Dan Chaos, and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. It is 9.58.06 a.m. And we're back with Baldi! I still don't know your name. I still know my task though, I'm here delivering a paint set. Never really imagined what for. Oh! I live at the Ritz! I'm Marcus. Now this is a complete shift! I went from my old hometown to home alone. This place is fantastic. They've got naked babies on the ceiling. <laughs> I wonder if I get treated well here. That'd be a nice little change of pace. Self-recognition. I did a good job today. We all need that. Get to hang up my jacket and everything. Hmm. Do I get treated like a human here? That would be nice. Take care of Carl. Wait, Carl, upstairs. Carl, from up, is upstairs? Yep, I get the feeling he's a, he's an oldie. He's got a little low jack thing right here to help him get up and downstairs. And he's a painter. I hope he doesn't die. Sorry if I'm jumping ahead of things, but I, I don't want you to paint a lovely picture of you dying and then me going on the lamb. Lamb with mint jelly sauce. Wow, that's a giraffe and a skeleton of a dead sea creature. This place is nice. Look at this library. Look at this giraffe. I could have swore he winked at me. Nope, he's dead. Hmm, blue period. This is so nice. This is the type of books I always dreamed about reading. You know, those those old hard to find books that, you know aren't the subject of a roundabout book club. You know, just an oldie but a goodie. Now, you said he's upstairs. You didn't tell me where upstairs. Probably the door that I missed. But I'm glad I took the roundabout way. Some scenery. That is a sweet door. Draw curtains. Hello, old timer. Nice wheelchair. Well, at least he's not completely bedridden. I was expecting tubes and all sorts of stuff to be coming out of him. Uh, An old dude with tattoos. That's a nice good change morning, of pace. Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. <laughs> <laughs> I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. Oh. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? Yeah. We never forget anything. And we forget. I hope you don't have Alzheimer's. I'd be hitting home a little bit too much. Now, Carl, are you the uh, creator of Carl's Jr. and Hardy's? Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. You didn't take your medicine. Thank you. Now you did. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. <laughs> At least you still have your teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Perspective. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. I love this father-son thing we got going on here. It's such a tonal shift from, well, one tone ago. Wow. I did my lifts today. I'm glad I kept that steadily pushed. Didn't let go of my buttons a second. Don't want to drop him. <laughs> I like how they just show scenes of the room. Leave what's going on to be going on. It's good camera work. Good directing. I did not skip leg day. But you did, unfortunately. I'm sorry. 
That's an awesome wheelchair, though. Look at it. He's holding it on the back. And look at the wheels. Anything special on the agenda today? Meatloaf. Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your know. usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. I don't know how much Any control I actually have. Video? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. I just wanted to see if I can go around in the room. I, I don't have like complete to have control. My breakfast before noon. <laughs> so that was an option. I could just take you around in a circle. I would see how many circles I could get away with, but uh, I do want to get you your breakfast. And I want to see how this wheelchair hooks up to this thing. It's probably very slick. Yep, look at that. Chick, chick. Race ya! No, he's winning! Dang it, I should have gone down the stairs first. And I think I know the actor who's portraying this guy. Did he play Stick in uh, Daredevil? Maybe. Not sure. To breakfast! Oh. I'm just so happy. This is a, a breath of fresh air to see the companionship. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you. You're welcome. Bacon and eggs, and bacon and eggs, and bacon and eggs. Mmm, what about buttermilk biscuits with little pads of butter? So much preferred than toast. Okay, I don't want toast. Biscuits. Buttermilk biscuits. Dang, I'm making myself hungry. Hold on. I have the uh, x-ray scanner. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Like, I was trying to cover everything in the house with Kara. But here, it seems like there's hardly anything to do. Just a uh, minimal upkeep. I'm always so nervous when I see, like, different, you know, levels of people interacting. Like, I really hope nothing goes wrong between Carl and Marcus in the same way that, you know, I hope something doesn't go wrong with Alice and her father and Kara, but I know it's going to happen. With this, I don't know if it's going to happen. And if it does, it's going to be heartbreak. I want you to stay alive as long as possible, Carl. Long enough for breakfast. It's Thank still sizzling. Television. Sounds like something Russia would do. Is Putin still alive? Do they like cryo freeze him? That's why I want to take over the Arctic. I finish my breakfast. Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. Hmm. Find something to do. <laughs> that is so unorganized. I like it. it shows just how, how much freedom Marcus has. Can I read a book? Can I read a whole book? Flip through it like Johnny Five and Short Circuit? <gasps> I want to read Plato. Hmm. hmm. The ramblings of an old man from thousands of years ago. Are you going to tell me about the book? What are you reading? Plato's Republic. It's one of the books you recommended. So, what do you think? I quite like philosophy, I think. It asks the questions that I can't answer. You know, what is right <laughs> or what is wrong, for example. It's not something that is so easy to decide. Asking questions that have no answers is part of being human, Marcus. <laughs> one day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. Make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Aww. Let's go to the studio. Out of all the books that I picked, I am glad I picked that one. It's really existential. To the studio. I love how he's treating me like a human opposed to a servant. It's like these different ways of interacting with human beings that are defining what these androids are, what they're becoming. It's different circumstances that are 
leading to similar epiphanies that they could be more than human. We've gone through philosophy. Are you going to show me art? Teach me to paint? You'll do a splotch, and I'll paint an exact replica of the Mona Lisa. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. <laughs> wow. I'm scared of heights. That terrifies me. Hmm, I see we're still in our blue period. I like the mix of indigo, aqua, little azure. It's wonderful. It's an ear. Okay, time to clean up the studio. I'm glad I'm not so robotic to think that cleaning means wiping all the paint away from all the paintings. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Uh, makes me wish I was an android living with a rich man. Hmm. Interesting symbol. The hands holding the box. Ah, uh, the gardens. Hard to believe that there's probably riots going on next door. Sounds like the dogs are rioting next door. Okay, what am I supposed to clean? Here we go. You're supposed to add some water to that. Rinse them off. Your new little set of paints. Probably all blue. Very nice. Hope you get more done than that ear while I'm done. I missed a spot. Oh well. Time to introspect. What does it make me feel? So, I'm blue. What's your verdict, Marcus? Hmm. I like it. Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. <laughs> the truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Come well, you're on. dark. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Ah! <gasps> Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything. <laughs> Give it a try. I choose Mona Lisa. Wow. A whole lot of non-blue paint go into your blue paintings. Find a subject to paint. No. I want to paint the old man. I want to paint the old man! Paint desk? No, I don't want to paint a desk. Paint Carl's painting. Hmm. I kind of don't want to copy his art, but I feel like that would lead to a very interesting dialogue. A little bit of a dab. A little bit of a splat. More, more splat! I demand more splat! Why is it this working? <laughs> Suddenly the touchpad didn't want to do what I wanted it to do. You really have to be firm with this touchpad. Dang! That is a perfect copy. Yeah. Of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it. Showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go. Try Yeah, I want to try again. It's about making a caricature of life. That's why I love Walt Disney and all that stuff. They really knew how to do it right. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Ah. <laughs> Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Ones and now zeros. concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Oh. Something's loading! Identity! 
Hmm. Doubts. Some doubts about my identity? I still don't know what this touchpad wants from me. Come on! I'm pressing everything that's possible. Oh, uh, uh. there we go. Slap. Slap the painting! Oh, this touchpad's gonna get someone killed if I'm forced to save them with it. Oh, I like the orange. The music is so euphoric. We painted ourselves. Oh God. Sup, troublemaker. You, Leo? Hey, Dad. Leo? Oh, your actual son. Uh-oh. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. Are you okay? It's been a while, right? You all right? I don't like this. You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it's, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. You, yeah you're, you're on it again, aren't you? You're blue it on no. the dilithium crystals, no, huh? No, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer is no. Say yes. What? Just why? say yes. He you seems know why. angry. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Uh oh. Tell me, Dad, what's what's he got that I don't? Smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? I'm not on drugs. That's you know the what? difference. This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. Goodbye, prodigal son. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. Not as much as you love drugs. You never loved me. I'm glad I didn't pull out a gun or something. We need to have the locks changed. This experience cannot be good on your heart. It's not good on my heart. Well, that was a small encounter. Leo intruded to ask for money. Well, nothing I can change about that. November 5th, 2038. That's actually not that far away from now. 11.21. Two-Face? No! Connor! <laughs> I like how you straightened up that tie. No androids allowed. Or dogs. We're apparently on the same level. Really should change my shirt if I'm gonna, you know, come in here and... Well, I guess I'm not trying to pretend that I'm not an android. I'm just accepting it. Scan faces. Okay. I'm good at that. Hey, I know your face from somewhere. Hmm. Security guard. They're not. What are you doing in here, then? Okay. Unemployed. Criminal record. Driving under the influence. Mm -mm. That's bad. What about you? Criminal record? None. You? Why are you hiding from me? Ooh. Police lieutenant. You look like Clancy Brown. Oh, you are Clancy Brown! Hold on, I'm not finished scanning. This guy's trying to invite me to his table. Domestic abuse. Currently unemployed. I want to finish scanning all the faces. You look like Jack Nicholson. Administrator. Basically, this looks like a dive bar for the unemployed. And the employed. 
Okay. That was nice. Time to talk to Clancy Brown. Lieutenant Anderson. You My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. <laughs> what do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. <laughs> Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Uh, I guess that could be, uh, reasonable. I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. What do you know about life being easy? I gotta have my cheer wine. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back <laughs> off before I crush you like an empty beer can. <laughs> uh, buy him another drink. Why you know not? What? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say, bartender? That's how you buy say a friend. Again, please. See that Jim wonders the technology. Make it a double. <laughs> Have your Jim Bean. Let's get out of here. I'll be having a rough day. Getting tired of having a liver. <sighs> Did you say homicide? Yep. The dead kind. Well, I'm glad that wasn't an entire chapter. Wait... Wait, what neighborhood is this? And what kind of music is this? Ah, oh. my cyber eardrums get blown out. Uh, diplomatic. My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to <laughs> wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Yes, sir. Those are my new instructions. Conflicting orders, selecting priority. Follow Lieutenant Anderson. Okie dokie. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. I'll just uh, be your shadow. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. <laughs> See, what best friends. The car, didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. Those instructions I got. Think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. <laughs> so, got yourself an android, huh? An android oh, partner. Very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by. So on. That's when he found the body. Okay. Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. Eh. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. All right. Aggravated assault. Listening to the briefing. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Ugh. More of the Red Rice Krispies. Well, oh, stayed he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably. Probably. No fingerprints, android involvement? Any or sign of a, a break glove? In? Nope. The landlord said the front door was Ugh. locked. Ugh. Dry blood. Car inside. Carlos. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors can... More dry blood? He had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Okay. 
Didn't pay his rent. Probably killed by his robot. Or a robot. You would have think if they made these things human, they would have at least given them some, you know, fingerprints. Even if they were robot fingerprints, ones and zeros. Okay, so what, that in, in, dude enjoyed the nightlife or something? Not sure what that little poster pamphlet slip was about. Let's see. More blood. Okay, so he was attacked, and he ran from room to room. Makes sense. Hmm. Fingerprints. Signs of struggle, obviously. Like the little glowing notepad things they got. Makes finding evidence pretty uh, significant. Okay, we got his fingerprints again, but no sign of any uh, blue-blooded American androids. Traces of the Ethereum stuff. Let's find out what really happened. What's he hitting? He's hitting the knives? Oh, the guy was getting a knife. So he hit the guy. Oh, he came at him first, though. Emotional shock. Okay. So did the guy break in? Maybe looking for the drugs? Yeah, I know it's your job to photograph, sir, but uh, I have a job as well. Uh, interesting photography work on the fridge. I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. I can barely see with the glare. Well, they gotta have the crime scene all well lit. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Hmm. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Android sex officially better. <laughs> Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. Well, 68% of men prefer sex with an android rather than a real woman. Hmm. Is that why he bought an android? The clues just keep on getting deeper. Okay, I will examine the victim last. Got three more pieces of evidence to go through. The shower, never been used. Oh, crazy town. Rog, rog, ra, 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 uh, uh. This is Lady Gaga's shower. Oh, holy Mother Teresa. It's a creepy voodoo doll. Oi. Summer contact St. Dismas. Okay, so the dude had a had a thing for plastic robot girls. And he also prayed to some sort of deity. Anything up there? No. That is an attic. I'm just I wanna cover my bases. The guy had a baseball bat and I might as well cover all the bases. Oh. So much stuff I am apparently missing. Okay, more of his blood. Look, like he broke through the wall. Hmm. It's just a magazine again. What about any hair? Well, bars on the doors. Why does that mound look so suspicious? Okay, shoe print. Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No, this type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Except for Officer Collins. 
So the demon didn't escape this way. <laughs> I'm not blaming the officer. He came back to the scene of the crime. Okay. Is that my to-do list all done for? No, there's one more piece of evidence. I am alive. It sounds like something an android would leave behind. It's definitely printed very nice. In the font of cyber life. No one wants to stay here a minute longer. Now to look uh, at this. Ugh. Well, lovely stab wounds. Yep, 28! Well, at least they work in even numbers. Okay. Uh, yep, he uses his lovely red crystal. Obviously deceased. And number four. Okay. Well, what all are we looking at here? Hmm. Okay. He tripped on the bottles. Oh, and then he was stabbed. Before that. They came from the kitchen, as I surmised. Ugh. Then he stabbed him a whole bunch of times. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Ugh. It's like, you don't seem perturbed by this. I do. Okay. Investigate the crime scene. Consider it investigated. So now we've got the case of robots under these different circumstances thinking they're more than human. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... Uh, in the kitchen, duh. In the kitchen. Didn't know I was going to have to select this stuff myself. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... Uh, with the bat. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. And there's a motif in the bathroom. Uh... Victim stabbed the, 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 the android. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? It appears so. Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room. The living room. Ugh. Well, once that air joint got started, he didn't stop. Ugh. Robo Kung Fu for the win. Away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim. Uh, with the knife. With the knife. Twenty-eight times. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't <laughs> tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. Yeah. It's the fluid that powers Android's bio components. That's also an ingredient in the red it stuff. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Where is it? Search for blue blood. Well, we got ourselves a little bit of a trace here. Is he hiding in the attic? That would make a whole lot of sense. So why I can't find him. Yes. It gotta be. Ha 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 ha. Bingo bango. Not the attic. That's just a jump scare, Connor. The attic is upstairs, you know, where the, the handprint is. Let's try this again. Look at that. Okay, can I have that? 
No? You gonna make me go to the bathroom first or something? Didn't know robots had to use the bathroom. Huh. Why was the robot over here? Was the robot praying? Yes. What are we looking at here? A ladder was used. I'm pretty sure I know where the ladder is. I've been staring at the handprint for like forever. <laughs> Traces lead to the attic. Find something to climb. Okay, there was a chair in the kitchen. I mean, it's not like they're using it anymore. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Follow me! Uh, check something. Yeah, this place has an attic. Shouldn't you be investigating it? Upsy daisy! We have a little bit of a uh, living quarters. Maybe this is where he stored the robot. Why am I nervous? Look for deviant. Okay. Don't come after me. We're androids of, of the same color. Blue. That don't be a mannequin. Ha 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 ha! You're a mannequin. <laughs> it's not like robots can get scared. Why am I suddenly scared? The knife's downstairs. Don't have to worry about that. Tiptoe. Bye. The blue blood. Oh. Stop. Oh. Uh, police. Hands on the ground, knees in the air, kiss your butt goodbye. Hmm, you have to explain uh, how we live. Like, uh, is it uh, energy base? Is there a charging station up here? How are you surviving for so long? Does your blue blood clot? Hey, hey! Calm down, freaking con. Freaking cyborg? I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I know. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? Oh. It's here, Lieutenant! You didn't even give me an option. Oh shit. Chris, Ben, get your ass. I kinda wanna now. decide with him. Sorry. I think I was pretty darn thorough with that. I mean, there was an option back here for... What? Letting him get away? Dying? Neither of which I did. That was pretty interesting. I like that we have this sort of buddy cop situation going on. While Marcus and Carl are having a father and son situation. And then Kara and Todd, they're having a whole domestic dispute. But I like where this is going. We have different situations, different occurrences of androids becoming more than human and you know there's the whole red reticle on their side what does that have to do with it is that the ethereum crystal in the mix i don't know there's some sort of drug ring going on but thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you think let me know what you want to see and i'll see how you do to the next one bye <laughs>